Hello, welcome back to my playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 1 on the PS1, of course, using my emulator. This is the first video um, of me since my rebrand uh, to Curryface, but not the first one that I've edited, as you may have noticed if you've been watching my videos. Anyway, um, let's get started with this. Oh yeah, I never noticed that before. If you stand next to this and then do that, it looks like you're over. Wow, it's like you're hanging off of stuff. Uh, anyway, yeah, um, never mind about that. Uh, we're going to go and see Liquid and Ocelot in just a moment. Um, let's try firing some rockets at them. Now, let's see if they say anything about that, actually. Me shooting rockets at them. Uh, oh no, they just give you the generic old stuff. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go on up. Oh, uh, I didn't do it just then, but if you destroy the camera that uh, eventually spots you, um, uh, there's one just above our head here. Uh, if you destroy that camera, uh, they still can see you. Destroying the camera doesn't actually stop anything. It looks like we'll have to show them that we need Anyway, they're just acting like they're able to launch Metal Gear. Um, so, according to us, we still think that we need to uh, deactivate it. But of course, the trick is that they can't activate it and they're actually waiting for us to do it. As I explained in the previous uh, part. Um, but yeah, you can't expect me to remember everything. Oh! Uh, anyway, they spot me on the camera, um, so that's an instant alert, so you're running away constantly from this one guard. Um, doesn't help to kill him, and uh, you can just get away from him by standing up on top of here. He tries shooting you, but... Nope. He doesn't think to just shoot up here or even climb up the ladder. You can shoot him though. There you go, and as if by magic, everything's okay. I mean, surely if you were in Snake's position, you would think, okay, they definitely know that I'm here. I was right outside their door. Like, surely they're going to send more than just a couple of guards against me. But no, like, he doesn't seem to notice, uh, and neither, do any neither does anyone else, like on his Kodak, like uh, Colonel Campbell or anyone like that. No one seems to notice that it's as if they're just letting him do all of this stuff. I mean, it's just obvious. Anyway, um, one of two things can happen here. Uh, again, because I'm playing on the American version, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, one of two things can happen here. Um, you're either going to have to go down into this, like, uh, poisonous water down here, or... Uh, you're going to have to uh, kill a rat in order to get your card back because, no, I didn't explain, but in that scene, Ocelot shoots you and, uh, like, he shoots your arm uh, and so you drop the card that you're holding into the drainage ditch, which is what this thing is, so there's a chance that a rat has already grabbed it. Um, that would be the rat over there, but I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to see if it's here first. Um, you can use the mind detector uh, in order to. Uh, ooh. Might as well. I know I'm going to lose life anyway, but might as well. Yeah, usually you can use the mind detector and it will show up on the map. Uh, but as long as you just run in a straight line like this, uh, you're bound to get it. Uh, there's also another item that you can get by doing this, uh, and that item is a bomb. However, uh, the bomb has a much shorter timer than the uh, other one did when we escaped the uh, torture sequence. Okay, so I haven't found the bombs, strangely enough. Maybe I can find it with the mind detector. Maybe even thermal goggles. Let's use these. Let's use the thermal goggles. The ration. Lamas bullets. Okay, I never thought to actually check this in my entire life, but um, 
Turns out there's more than just... Oh, there's the bomb. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You can see there's 13 seconds on it. Whoop. Oh, I'm going to see what that call said. Snake, did you find the key? No, it's not here. Don't be ridiculous. You saw it fall into the drainage ditch, didn't you? The drainage ditch. Isn't there something odd about it? No. There are a lot of big rats, though. That's it, Snake. A rat must have eaten it. Hmm. Now who's being ridiculous? No, I'm right. There's no other possibility. Rats I think I've only ever seen this codex sequence once, so that's why I'm still watching it. Oh, okay. Because uh, usually, uh, well, my friend told me about the whole rat thing, but um, on my first uh, load of playthroughs, um, I'd always just gotten down here fast enough to grab the uh, key card, so I never had uh, the need to, uh, well, to sit through that conversation. Uh, so yeah, but like uh, I, I have heard it a couple of times, but yeah. Uh, I see. I'm gonna have to actually be in range. <laughs> And there it is. <laughs> A rat must have eaten it. You could just shoot it with your socon, or at worst, your farmhouse rifle. Nah, just blow it up with the stinger. Make it nice and easy on ourselves. Oh my god. So. Seriously, the amount of backtracking in this game is absolutely horrendous. So you get all the way up there, only to have to backtrack to get all the way back down to grab the keycard, and then you have to go all the way back up to enter the first uh, form of the keycard, uh, and then you have to go all the way back down to the frozen bit where you fought uh, uh, Raven, and then come all the way back up to enter that keycard, and then you go all the way back down to the blast furnace. It's like, holy shit, like, how much backtracking do you want to put in this game, man? I mean, I guess maybe there was like hardware limitations. It was on two discs, to be fair. Uh, so they did all they could. Uh, so I'm guessing that the backtracking through the map is just like getting as much of the story out as possible. I don't know. But anyway, these guys are no longer here, so instead of uh, risking poison gas, let's just destroy these two. Oh, um. Let's just destroy these two. There you go. And now I can come in without having to worry. Alright. Oh, and uh, trust me, I've tried uh, going to the blast furnace first and entering the keys the wrong way. Doesn't work. You just get a phone call saying, Oi, you can't do that. And <laughs> I was talking before about how no one notices that uh, he's just getting away with all of this. Uh, but, come on, surely... This this whole process looks like... Um, like an activation, like more than a deactivation. And for the record, I wasn't trying to put that in there. I, I just, like, you just get close to it, you don't even press uh, the circle button to activate it. Um, you just go near it with one of the uh, PAL key variations. Okay, so I'm going to cut this bit. Oh! <laughs> oh god, I expected that he'd still be dead. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, anyway. I'm going to cut this backtracking. Uh, the next time you'll see me, I'll be down in Vulcan Ravens. In three, two, one, now! Told you, it wasn't that... Uh, much better than watching me have to walk all around again. Right, so uh, guards do actually spawn in this area, but I'm guessing that's only for when you've entered the second version of the PAL key. Um, there is something I want to say about the PAL key while we're waiting as well. Um, I always figured that um, having an item, like having the PAL key uh, uh, unequipped like this, uh, would cool it down quicker because um, no 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 
Sorry, I got that wrong. Um, I always figured that having the Palkia equipped like this uh, would make it go colder quicker because um, essentially you're just holding it in your hand. Uh, so like you're holding it out like to, into the harsh elements. Um, but there's a feature on this game where if you're on, uh, if you're in um, cold areas for too long, your rations can actually freeze. And uh, that happened to me once, so I called up uh, Colonel Campbell, and he said, if you um, equip the rations, uh, what it's doing is, uh, because you're equipping it, you're holding it close to your body. That's the actual excuse that they use. Uh, so that would um, help heat up the rations, so that they're not frozen anymore. And I just, I just couldn't help but think that that's quite silly, uh, because... Um, well, like the excuse I gave just a second ago, uh, it, it, surely if you, you've equipped something, you're holding it in your hand... Um, there we go. Uh, you're holding it in your hand. Uh, so, like, if you're in a cold area, like, uh, it's going to be open to the elements. Whereas, if it's unequipped, it's sort of like it's in your bag. So it's like in your bag with everything else, like, uh, being almost uh, shielded from uh, whatever temperature it is on the outside. You, you get what I mean? I don't know, just... It just seems a little bit backwards to me, and I never understood that. Anyway, um, let's go back to the uh, room. Three, two, one, now! Okay, let's center the blue key. And uh, this begins the most annoying bit of backtracking because it's probably the least interesting due to those bloody elevators going up, going up both of them and then having to go back down both of them. At least the twin snakes had the decency to cut out most of that. In fact, I think even in the twin snakes it's just one elevator, which would make an awful lot of sense. Anyway, let's go. Blast Runners ahoy! And we're back at the Blast Runners. Okay. God damn, that takes such a long time to get here. Uh, we just had the call from Master Miller saying that uh, uh, Naomi's been arrested. Uh, oh, crap. I swear that ration is some sort of ploy to get you to kill yourself. I've only ever actually managed to get it once. That was quite annoying. Anyway, um, since uh, having the power key equipped will hold it close to my body, um, let's uh, keep it out just to heat it on up. Right, I'm going to demonstrate it now. Right. Okay, where's this guy? Can't remember if he comes down here. Right, as far as I know, there's no one else here. Anyway, so... What's going on? What's going on? Okay, good for you. So, if you hadn't wasted all your ammo on uh, a certain sniper, um, you could have done this. First shot, takes it on down. Oh! What the hell? But there was no one there! Oh, I see. It was that guy over there. Wonder if I can snipe him. Anyway, that goddamn guy messed up my bloody demonstration. Anyway, first shot wrecks it a little bit. Second shot takes it down entirely. I want to try and get him in the lava. Ah. Right, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, what a death. Kind of feel sorry for the guy sometimes. Almost feel sorry for the guy. I 
could probably actually use that ration now. Anyway, how's the card doing? Is it cooked yet? Yes, it has. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, and we're back. Uh, we've got our um, heated up red key. Um, however, I am going to call it for this session here. I feel as though it's been a long enough time. Uh, I don't know how long it's actually going to be in the final edit of this video, but holy shit, all of that backtracking has made me want to put this game down for a bit, for a moment. So I'm just going to leave you here. See you in the next part. Bye-bye.